Let's talk about formatting your Microsoft Word document. Now, when you open Microsoft Word, whether it's in an online service or Word, it may or may not look the same and have the same features. So know that your OneDrive or your Google Drive may not have the same features as if you purchased MS Word. So I'm using an MS Word purchase program. Okay, so first off, you've got a document. I want to make sure that I get the formatting right on it. So I'm going to first go out to layout on the toolbar. This will give me margins and I'm just going to click on the margins and I want just normal one inch margins all the way around. These are all standard and universal so regardless of where you go you should have the same, same setup for your essay document. Next I want to make sure that I'm using Times New Roman font. You could type it in right here if you want and it will pull it up. 12 font. Now, professors like different types of headings. Some professors might want single space headings, some double space. So you just hit your spacing right here. That's the case. Uh, I don't have a preference either way that you type it. It'll be fine with me. So then you're going to type in. Oh, back up here. Now, I think we're ready to top. You know, it didn't give me a, a margin. It should have. Maybe if I open it back up, it would. So, right, so you're going to put your line up there. However, your professor would like that to be. Using to have both names, so maybe your name is better. Okay. All right. So, regardless of whether you want that to be single or double, you can change that by highlighting. Okay. Now, if you see it has extra spaces here, you see that it says remove, and then it'll give you that true single space. Okay. So maybe you do your heading, and then you want to go down a few. Spaces spaces and put in your title I'm going to center that so you centering and the left the line tabs are right here and then when you hit your enter mm -hmm. I'm going to be double spacing now so I'll put that in there you go. So left the line now so you get it back. Now for your paragraph indentions, those are typically five to seven spaces. Or hit your tab key, it should take you over about five to seven. So you can tab. I'm having so much trouble with it. And you'll see that this will give you a true indention. And it should be double spaced between that. So you just want to make sure that you have that double space set. There it is. And again, if it throws it off, it puts extra spaces between paragraphs. Just highlight. It'll say remove space here and you just click on it and it will do that. So that's how you get it to your real format for your essays. So again, you know, go back in, double check your margins, make sure they're one inch all the way around and that should get you where you need to go.